unity had come to North Illyria, but it had come at a cost none would be able to expect. For the very symbol of Illyria, of Cinder, of the North Illyrian Empire, of all that they stood for, was gone. Majesty was dead, slain by Iphilix above Tolos, the first city where her dragon fire had been used, other than to cook the former lord of Illyria. Her own grandchild had been the one to bring an end to her. To force a change in the very hierarchy of dragons. Her body was taken from that place and would be buried beside the dragon pit. It would become, in many ways, a holy site for the religion, for the people, for the very dynasty that she had helped to forge. Dragons seemed to fall all over, for Jaehaerys the White did not survive his fight either. He was left as nothing but bodies and bones now in their crypt of cinder. He was given all the funeral rites, of course. He was a cinder. There was no doubt about that. He was just... not the Emperor. How unfortunate for him, because being Emperor was quite a wonderful thing Jaehaerys was learning. Majesty, of course, would not be forgotten. She, like her first rider, would be forever immortalized in Valyrian history. The conqueror and his beast, his weapon, his partner. Majesty's keep was still the place of rule, and the golden throne of Valyria was still forged by her own fires. But with her gone, there was a strange quiet within the realm, an emptiness. With Majesty dead, Eris's cinder's claim was ruined. Marine was barren, no troops left to fight. He was left with nothing but hope, hope for a peace that he sued for, begging for mercy. When he was lucky to receive it, Jaehaerys was merciful, all things considered. Or perhaps he merely wanted to gloat. He was granted with a new status quo, fleeting as it may be. This status quo that had risen, there was still much to be answered. Volantis sits upon the doorstep of the Empire, further expanding into uncolonized regions. In the north, the War of Karls had begun, as the Dothraki hordes fought for supremacy. If one was to win, there would be a power too great to ignore, a Dothraki horde on an open field. And while all that occurred, the Empire still had remaining threats. There were still those who had claimed the Valyrian throne, and the armies themselves were weak and battered. Local revolts could even be a problem for them to manage. Iphilix now stands as the power of the realm, but there are many dragons still living. Valerion lives across the sea, and Araxis still flies above the Empire. There is a power vacuum now that Majesty is gone. The question remains, who shall fill the void? Hello guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, A Game of Thrones, where once more we are playing as Emperor Jaehaerys, the victor of our War of Dragons, who has uh, firmly taken control of the throne of North Valyria. But uh, has not been able to expand much in Valyria itself, as Dragonis and Zoklos are taking forever to colonize. Uh, we have these problems of Valantis has begun to creep into our region. We can definitely begin to make plans about this, but uh, not not quite yet, not quite yet. We don't have uh, enough men, really, to be waging war. Especially our vassals don't. We have Eris the Unworthy, who fought against us in the war and rode upon Majesty, but now rides no dragon at all. As Majesty, the dragon which built this empire, is dead, slain in this very war. Quite sad, really, that it is ended up as this. We have the new king of Yunkai, my brother, King Regal. Only 15, um, married to Malaris of North Illyria. Should be a very strong bond here. And then Astapor has been given, as it was originally meant to be given, 
to Valar, who is my uncle. Yes, my uncle. And his heir is also my son, Aemond. Aemond is everybody's heir, apparently. It'll be interesting to see who, what Aemond is like, as we really don't know yet. But, of course, he's got all of our bloodlines and all of our... I did see people suggest that I should have named the sword Ash. And I really do like the name Ash. I really am reconsidering the name. But I do think, now that Majesty has died, having a blade named after Majesty means a lot. Uh, but we, I expect we're going to be seeing quite a lot happen at this episode in terms of all of these guys. Because, I mean, not only do they have all these horrible modifiers from the war... They don't have many troops. I think Asapor is the most troops right now. Okay, Yunkai has a couple, but the problem is definitely Marine. He's only got 2k troops. Uh, Lord Tristan One-Eye is arguing with his wife. She's quite upset and they are almost screaming at each other. I'll intervene. Oh, he wants me to stay out of his business. He's depressed now. Damn. I mean, he is 49. How's his son doing? He's conscientious, club-footed, timid, and patient. Patient's a very good trait. So he could be a good ruler. Upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually comes to another and perhaps you slip away. Later, you leave the council chamber. You stumble and fall on your face. You can feel the taste of blood in your mouth. Oh, A 5% chance of death. I'm for oh, Okay. Malaris, my aunt, is hiring men for an attack against me. Interesting. Let's send a letter to Eris and try and calm him. I mean, we, we saw a white piece with him, and we've let him keep this title of Marine. So I am hoping he may hold some debt of gratitude for us, for letting us keep these uh, titles. Hmm... Upgrading Castle Town for tax sounds like a wonderful idea to me. Hopefully we don't have to pay massive amounts on Angregory or something. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna spend money on improving those relations though. Shoot the dragons. So Vaxelix and Firecatcher are the only wild ones. The only dragon egg is Aemon's. Which is a little worrying, honestly. Where's Valerian right now? Valerian is... Being ridden by Jaehaerys the Black Dragon, the last of the Targaryens. Interesting. But he's only... He's not a king or anything, he's just a, uh, a, va a knight. Oh my god, Eamon is having no luck with this. I mean, he's two years old. Let's not take prestige away from a two-year-old. That seems a bit cruel. The Astapori Liberation Revolt has declared liberation of Aspor on me. How on earth do they have 20k men? What the hell? This is actually going to be really difficult to take down, I think. Um... I'm going to have to raise Vassal there, please. Oh, they're going to get crushed there. That was a very silly of me. But Yunkai is the majority of my Vassal there, please. Why am I not leading? Because um, I'm up in this army for some reason. It always puts you in the most random armies. And I'll be leading this army alongside Tristan... And let's put, my wife will lead this as well. Let's meet them in uh, Yunkai. Ugh. Lord. Who is Lord Lareza Martel? What? As in the Martels? Oh no, why, that's the Tyrells. The Martells are over here. These titles literally do not matter. Dawn is in such a mess. The whole of the Iron Thrones in such a mess. Oh my god, they've got a lot of armies. 
This is gonna make this is gonna negatively affect my vassal opinion as well. That's the problem. I'll ask politely. Where are they going? Oh, they're fighting Asapol's main army. Oof. That's a toughie. Hey, this should be more than enough then. And then we'll leave this as a backup. My wife Dana is pregnant. Wonderful, wonderful. Why am I not leading this army again? I know I suck, but you should stop kicking me out of the army. Someone is conspiring to kill me. Shite. Uh, maybe I go into hiding then. Crap, is my Master of Whispers not good? No, they're great. Stop them killing me then, please, Master of Whispers. That'd be wonderful. I mean, realistically, leading an army on Dragonback, I should be harder to kill, but... Unfortunately, that's not the case. Have these armies meet in Marine, and then they'll take out that Morven army. And that, then these armies can stand down. I'll see if I can get a dragon in this army as well. I mean, I have so many dragons at this point, I should be able to. Alright, Aemond, what is it? Speak with Aemond. Interesting. Yunkai is revoking a whole bunch of uh, titles there. Oh yeah, Malaris has a dragon. I'll get Malaris in that army. Victory! And we can stand down this main army. And then I'm going to consider going into hiding. I'll ask Cordius to leave court as well, just because there's too many of them. Am I not able to go into hiding? Oh, and I have a loan that I have to repay. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Let us... Shutting the gates might make sense just because of the... Has he even come here yet, or is it... No, the bloody flux is only up here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 225 gold. Oh, winter's finally coming to an end. But there is a plot in Illyria. Or maybe it just always says a rumor of a plot in Illyria. Uh, I'll pay half the debt. That's fine. Okay, spread to Mentalis now. So this is spreading pretty quick. Hopefully it's not too deadly. Let's get... Oh, you know, it's spreading really bad. Right, let's get this army down to Tolos and just take out these raiders. During the war in the Iron Throne, the Princess Malerus, the rider of Takun, and Lady Elena of the Black Sazrada Taraxis met in uh, fierce combat. Driving their dry territory of Lady Lena and Taraxis prevailed, killing Takun. Why did you do that? You damn fool. That is... Why is my aunt in... Why is my aunt so far from her husband? I mean, they've had a child. They've had uh, Princess Jahiris, so... At least as an heir for Yunkai, but... Getting your dragon killed doing something like that is... Stupid of me. We've had a daughter named Danis. Why am I not able to... I'm not able to name any of my children. Is that a glitch? Or am I, like, stupid? Like, I full-on cannot name my children. Uh, because like, Aemond was some without my name. I was some, like... 
Yeah, it's very strange. Maybe it's because I'm slow. Or is my wife not with me? No, she's in my court. I... This is very... It's a normal marriage. Yeah, I... Hmm. Oh, maybe it's because... Oh, I have to forget. Maybe it's because when you're married to a relative, I think you can't name children. Which is going to be a problem because everyone here is married to a relative. So I may just not be able to name my children at all. Betrothed can marry. Yep. Who? So do any of my main vassals hate me? What about Borash? No, he likes me as well. So right now, my all my main vassals like me, so... Oh, he came. Rhaegar wants a second wife, sure. I have a second wife already. Well, Tristan just hanged someone. Interesting uh, decision, Tristan. Or to overthrow the monarchy of Marine. Okay, he has more men, though. And he has dragons. Oh no, he doesn't have dragons anymore, does he? Unless... I think his wife did have dragons, but she died, didn't she? Visenya had a dragon, but she's dead. So he doesn't have any dragons. That could be a problem for him, then. So he's definitely... Marine is definitely the weakest region at the moment in terms of military. Just because of how it's been sort of bled dry. It's going to need a long time to repair itself. And it's totally not my fault. My father-in-law is dead through my second wife, um, Bahara. I mean, I didn't choose to marry her. I think AI Jaharis chose to marry her a long time ago. But I'll stick by it. Sharon asks, if a tree falls in the wood and there's nobody that's there to hear it, does it make a noise? Why don't you just ponder on that? News from Aspor of a great trial at court. Lord Omza Zo Hasanu was imprisoned by Lord Paramount Valar Sinder and stood accused of sedition and conspiracy against the realm. Master Razaha presided over the trial during which the prisoner was ultimately found guilty. As a consequence, he was beheaded. Worm River. That's a pretty major Lord Paramount, see. Danis is sick. Oh no. I hope it's not with the fever. The fever isn't here, right? No, it's not spread to us. Oh, I'm close friends with King Rhaegal. I'll happily take that. Yeah, you see, he's... They, they, they should definitely crush this army. So it's his Stormsinger who's risen against him. Interesting. It's to overthrow the monarchy, not to become the monarch. So I assume that's to restore it to a republic, maybe? I feel like I should be able to get involved in that. Which is my debt right now. Yeah, we'll repay it. Hmm. Is there a noble title upon him? Uh, sure. Put me in debt for a moment, but I can be in debt for like two seconds. That's fine. They say dragons live once more. I think they've lived for a long time. And Onala now rides Firecatcher into battle. She tamed Firecatcher. She's in my court, so I'll take that. Which one's Firecatcher? Firecatcher is Maraxi's kid. Who's still over here in, uh, in Borash. Wonderful. 
My court's getting very, very filled with dragons. It's just a very busy dragon pit in Illyria. Ah, excellent work. Hopefully that will give him a bit of time to rebuild his army, taking down one rebellion. The city grows more beautiful each day. I had my doubts at first, but I cannot deny it any longer. The child is surely blessed. When my wife played during the festival, the goddess must have touched the child within her and gifted her a child of beauty and purity. And she didn't get her father or mother's traits of slow, which was very good. I don't think Eamon did either, did he? No, Eamon also avoided it. So they're both on a very good path as it stands. Um, I could here, and yep, yeah, that's fine. I have so many Valyrian courtiers. Like, I've basically restored a lot of Valyria. Although, if Aemond inherits, we could see an end to the white streaks in the hair. Even though he is, like, his parents both had white hair. He just simply has brown hair. As does uh, Aemond and Danis. It's only uh, Visenya. He's kept the white hair so far. Ooh, looks like we're having some falling apart of empires here. See, can we just declare... I want some slaves, if we can. Honestly, if I think they'll go take a care of it for me. Hopefully Yung Kai will. Then I want to think where we'll be looking at if we actually, once our armies are fully restored. Because it makes sense to go for geese next. Just, you know, secure geese, we have all of these. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Empress Mal uh, Malaris of North Illyria has declared war uh, a claim war on me. Interesting. She probably would have had a better chance if she didn't kill Takoon. Meanwhile, her husband is going to be fighting against her in this war, so this is an interesting choice. Let's raise my main armies, then. Get me leading them, please. But where is she? She's in Pentos. Okay, that gives me a bit of time, then. Uh, take these armies back out of the capital. Let's keep them on the capital itself. So 6k, 6k, and then Lyria is at 12k, right? 8k. Let's move... Uh, you can be my Archon while the war's going on, and then I'll make Aspar my Archon again afterwards. Let's train troops. Let's move the train troops to Tolos for a while. And now there's a Gizkar Liberation Revolt. Okay, I may need to raise some more armies then. Get these armies in Mantaris. Unite them. Let's go help out Gizkar. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have landed right on top of them. I meant to... Ah, uh, That was me being very silly. I thought I would have the be able to land straight in Yunkai. But it's technically not my land, even though it is my land. So, fuck me. That was stupid. Uh, let's just go, go right back to Tolos, honestly. Just wait for her army to show up. And here they are. 7k, holy sh- okay. Why am I not leading this army again? This keeps happening. Honestly, I get very annoyed how any time I move my army, I just stop leading it. Like, it, you just wouldn't see that happen. Let's get over to... Black Cliffs, 
and then let's raise my 3k here, move them to the Black Cliffs. And then we'll attack from the Black Cliffs and we'll land straight on them if I can. Am I able to raise your vessels? Okay, 6k. That should be more than enough. Just need to spend some time to get the morale back. It's going to take her a long time to siege down Illyria anyway. And this seems to be her entire army. So once we take care of that, we'll be fine. I just wish I didn't make this mistake in Yunkai. Because I, I, it's, I should be able to land in it. Because it is my port. But obviously the game doesn't think it's my port. Get on our ships and back to Illyria. Come on, dragons. The chaos of the Battle of Illyria, my men cornered Lysidos, who cut down several good men, before taking a mighty blow of an axe to his hand. It should stack wipe her, I believe. Yep, there goes her entire army. Uh, okay. Let's help out in Yunkai properly this time. Did I accept that offer? Let's land in Slaver's Road and move from there. I think this 4k army is going to get wiped. Yeah, they're not going to arrive in time. And again, I'm not leading the army. Anytime I get in a ship, I just immediately stop leading the army. Okay, that should hopefully help him stay in power. Um... God, every vassal apparently has debts. And now hopefully he can take care of resieging his lands, and I will take care of uh, Hazdahan. Siege down that capital, and this wall should be one. Oh, my son seems mad. He's gained a trained rough. And he's had his second son, uh, Beleron. I hope that she, her claim is gone. Am I able to... Uh... I can't get rid of... I thought maybe she had... there would be an option to get rid of her claim. A new daughter was born to me. Named Ray. But Vexlax has a rider in Sir Bradad Bradacho Brad Chadbo. Uh, we'll get her the best education possible. She's my eldest. And I think Marshall seems amazing for her. Get this army back or this navy back so we can let it rest. I leave for Yangti immediately. She just took a dragon with her. Wow. Well, I don't think he's got a fire pit, so good luck with that. My just a car. You can have a tiny bit of gold. There we go. You get the slaves back. Go to the demon road. And they, they should all rejoin the empire in a moment. There we go. And reappoint the old council. Oh, oh. 
speaks to kill Morgazo Zo Zaharin. So this random courtier is the one who wants to kill me. Am I able to just kill him? He doesn't like me much. Um Oh yeah, I can demand he about his plot. Okay, now there's not a current plot to kill me. Let's ask some to leave my court because it's a little crowded and call the court out of hiding. Hopefully things should be peaceful. I'm just going to tell everybody to always max price and then one of these fools is going to buy them. Even more! I know he's not worth that much, I'm just going to keep claiming he is. Oh my god, um, it, okay, next time they ask him, I'm just going to say no, because it's going to keep asking over and over again. God, the second you get slaves, they immediately get constantly tried to be purchased. Yeah, I, apparently the, the dragon riders aren't showing up, that's weird. Lord Dayron of the Stepstones has a dragon egg. Interesting. My second wife is pregnant? Very strong vassal armies at the moment, actually. Very, very strong. Don't need to sway him. Don't need to sway him. And now Marine and me are... Best of buds. Maybe Borash might need some swaying. Not much, but we'll do a tiny bit. Um, Valantis is under attack from Mir and is in need of aid. We implore you to join our coalition. Um, he has 4k and he's under attack from Mir, who has 14. I don't very much care to get involved, considering... The, I want these lands for myself eventually. But, I mean, Jaehaerys isn't about conquest like his father was. Um, he's pretty chill thing. He's... Suspected Kinslay. I didn't assassinate Kin, did I? I just killed them in battle. I don't think that counts as Kinslay. I mean, I guess it technically does, but... I thought that trait was a murder one, not a any kill. If Elix, who has Zavdar doing? Yeah, Regal's dragon. The two brothers and their two dragons. I'll ask politely. Please stay out of plots against me. He says, okay, okay he said yes. Get a Plagueis pass as well. Wonderful news, wonderful news. It's not been an era of peace, but it's been an era of somewhat calm. Um, build cost or build time? I like build time. God, how many wives do you want, my man? Oh, his wives keep dying. That's why, never mind. Who hurt? Suspicious circumstances. Is he, is he killing all of them? Very suspicious. How's Valar's wife doing? Neris, my sister, is doing wonderful. Ah, but so I said Bela was never born. However, I do have a, another son, which I can name. 
to Havon sounds awesome. I'm absolutely going with that to Havon. I feel feel my best to have five kids by having a lot more than five kids, just because of how many kept dying. Build a war chest, stop the lifestyle, improve combat ability. I'm gonna go with combat ability because mine is so bad. I want to be good at at least one thing. Let's see. Let's build some barracks. Can I build anything in Illyria proper? All new defenses, yes. Let's get defensive levels up because I mean. <laughs> It always seems to be the place it gets attacked first. And everywhere else is pretty well defended. And, you know, it doesn't matter as, as much. I mean, Mantaris is one that I should be defending because of the major port here. Compared to Tolos, which, you know, is, is a major city, but Mantaris is a major port. And I love that it is basically on the river as well. Love that. I'll allow duels. Barracks, stables, or ah, let's get the barracks up. Spend a bit of cash. Because these two apparently are not having anything happen to them at all. Could make it round focus. Um Okay, if Elix has had another dragon. Wonderful. Uh, another egg rubber. What do I want to put the crown focus? I'm thinking maybe Tolos. Tolos or Mantaris, because I really want to build them up. No, Tolos is already built. Let's spend some time building up Mantaris. Make that the crown focus for um, Jaehaerys' reign. Now, this second dragon egg, do I want to give it to... I was going to say, do I want to give it to my second son? I think I want to give it to Visenya. My firstborn daughter. Why is she betrothed to me? I don't remember betrothing her to me. Must have done that on accident. Oop, wrong button. I do want to get her betrothed, but I want it to be matrilineal. Matrilineal to the Lord of the Copper Hills, who's also a cinder. Or matrilineal to her brother. Matrilineal to her brother would be very funny. <laughs> Basically, cinder continues, but it also doesn't. You know, I won't do a matrilineal, but I will marry her to Aemon, I think. We'll marry them. Do me a favour. What can I use that on? Probably nothing. My Master of Whispers. Uh, I'll give her a favour. This dude, this dude just keeps messing shit up and like, constantly has loans. I'll tell you, there's no chance I'm paying off those loans. No chance. It's always about gas stop. Uh, 115. That's how much I'm charging. Stop asking for him if you're not going to buy him. Did, has her dragon egg. Did it immediately hatch? Maybe she is a choice one. I've given her Aemon the dragon egg and it took forever to hatch. Be more of a senior's dragon is already hatched. What is even that name? Vasil Kyrix. What a wonderful name. So many dragons in the in the Cinder line now. I hope Ifelix has more eggs. If Ifelix has more eggs, then I can, you know, keep giving Ifelix's kids uh, eggs to my children. Meanwhile, I'm just having about 100 children a minute, apparently. 
barracks have been built in Mantaris. Ooh. My nephew is my ward. Sure. Sure. I mean, I'm dumb. But I would... Nobody needs to know I'm dumb. Let's get the garrison size up in Mantaris. Because if we have these all being incredibly strong, then Illyria itself is incredibly strong, then we're in a really good position. Ah, finally! Draconis is up to uh, its last level? Yeah, last level of colony, advanced colony. Also means it can start fostering levies in here, which is extra good. Now I just have to wait on Zoklos. And then once we have Zoklos done, we'll grant Draconis away, and we'll begin expanding, holding bogs, and I think Port of Size is more. Has he got his armies raised? Is he at war? No, just randomly has his army raised. Viciously slandering me. How could I use that information? Yeah, keep out of factions. Foolish child. I don't want to lose stewardship. Oh my god, a stewardship's awful. A provisional messenger system. So what, we set up some... Messenger pigeons. Sounds like a smart idea. Had another son. I wish I could have the culture one of his mother's culture rather than my culture. Mataris sounds cool. We'll go with Mataris. There are options to just turn off having random events of if you try and buy my slaves. Okay, we can finally talk. And once he's on side, I'll basically have every dragon rider on side. And never mind, he hates me. How many children do I have living now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven living children. Okay, Eamon is a poor fighter. Oh my goodness, that event's gonna drive me mad. I might just start selling them just so I stop having that event. But the reason you keep them is because of the this modifier, which gets your build modifier and cost down. So it's, you know, it's 68 gold here, and then it'd be 75 here. I don't know who Daisy is, but she's fussy, apparently. A new dragon has entered the world. Princess Daenerys Cinder, my aunt, has apparently successfully hatched one and named the dragon after the she-dragon Fafane. And this is his second wife, yes. Daenerys. Oh, interesting. More and more dragons re-entering the Cinder line. We'll happily take that, honestly. 
And with the start of the new year, I think that is where we will call it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for all of the support on the series so far. And we are going to keep going. We're going to keep following the cinders. But where should we expand now? Our army is growing back to strength. Should we look towards Gis? Towards Carve? Towards Volantis once their war with Mir ends? Because this war with Mir is... A war of a single city. So... <laughs> There'll still be a lot of Van we can take. Or maybe it's time we fight a proper power. I kind of have been ignoring the Khans because obviously conquering all of this would be good, but this land isn't really worth a lot and it'll be a difficult vassal to manage. But should I fight these Khans and try and secure this power base? Or should I continue focusing on the south and on Valyria proper? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and i shall see you guys all in the next episode thank you to my patreons and i'll see you next time until then